Hey everybody, this is Kit Peng, and hey, thank you for tuning in today because today we're going to be talking about live streaming. And here's the thing about live streaming. If you're watching this right now, it's 2017. Maybe when you're watching this, the information that I will be saying will be out of date already because things are moving that fast. So thank you for tuning in. Let's talk about first why live streaming is so crucial in our lives today, whether it's for business, to make, uh, if you're a coach or a consultant, to talk with clients, to just work all of these things in. Live streaming is it's moving that way. This is a study done by Cisco, and they said by 2020, 80% of the internet's traffic will be on video. Now, I'm not sure about you, but are you flipping through Facebook? And most of them are not images anymore. Most of them are video, right? Video after video, and you know you get hooked into these animal cat videos or whatever they are. You need to know how to hone your live streams down, right? What's the purpose of a live stream? How do you use it? Uh, how do you go on? How do you do these different things? And we'll be talking all about that today. But live streaming is so crucial for your business because right now, 2017, it is still new. Live streaming is so crucial because it will help you build your community and it will help you get your face out there. People, they want to see your face. They want to see your brand. They want to see your business. They want to see what's going on behind the scenes, right? So if you are not yet using live stream, because I know it is very scary at first going live because unlike this video, they can edit this all day long, right? But if I mess up right now, right, on live streaming, it's gonna go live, right? If I do something like this, it's gonna go live. It's one skill, just like speaking in front of a lot of different people, it's live. And it's a skill that you need to hone down on both aspects, right? How to be behind the camera, how to be in front of the camera. We're gonna be talking about all of that today. So let's get right into it. The first time I went on live stream, I was super nervous. Okay, as a public speaker, now I'm not, I'm not sure about you if you've gone on live stream for you personally or for your business, but it is very nerve wracking. I felt like I didn't know what to say. You know, I'm just talking to, I have my phone right here. I felt like I was just talking to my phone. Is anyone even watching? I'm just talking to my phone. How, you know, what am I gonna say? Can I even fill up 10 minutes? Do I sound stupid? It's, it's a skill form by itself, right? Because it's, it's a whole nother world nowadays. 2017, you're just talking to the screen. It's like talking to this video right now. And it feels like, hmm, who am I talking to? What am I saying? Do I have a purpose, right? It's something that you have to get used to. And the very first time that I went on, I was so nervous, I got someone else to go on with me, right? I had to say, hey, do you want to do an interview? Let's come for an interview. We'll just do an interview I want to say. And we'll just go and do some random stuff and we're gonna do it on camera. So if you are thinking about going on live streaming and if you are nervous and scared at first, just grab a buddy and say, hey, we're gonna be talking about this today. Usually I'm just gonna say live streaming, unless you have a big, big, big crowd, no one will first go on your live streaming and, and stalk to it, right? Whenever people see me now, they're like, Kit, I saw you on that live stream. But the thing is, I know is this, live streaming is like kind of writing a blog nowadays, right? You can give your insights, you might see people post their blogs, but half of the time, they might not read it when you post it. But later on, when they have time, they might, hey, I wanna save this, I don't wanna watch it. But the most important thing about a live stream is, yes, you can go live, and people can watch the replay of it. And if you are a consultant, an expert, business, it's keeping people in the back of, their minds, right? When you go on live, people are saying, oh, they're going on live stream again. Or if you have an event coming up, oh, get ready for that event, right? It's, hey, they're doing it again over and over and over again. So just don't go on live stream once, twice, three times. Nowadays, you have to go on consistently. It's like posting on Twitter, right? Now it's so, there's so many people posting, your message will be drowned if you don't post, for example, twice a day because people just cannot see it. Don't annoy them. You have to give them good content. There's a reason why you should be going on, right? So as a business, you have to think about all of these things. You just cannot say, hey, I'm just going to go on just to go on. Eventually, people will say, there's no value in that for me. That's what I learned by going on live stream. At the beginning, I started interviewing people. It was maybe once every week. By the next week, I was probably going on 
two or three times a day. Right? People were coming up to me and they were like, Kit, you were hustling. I found out about this other person because they were on your live stream. I found out about this product because you were talking about it on your live stream. I learned about your services, I learned about your events just because you were talking about it on your live stream. And also on the flip side, some people would say to me, hey Kit, I never watched your live streams before but I'm very interested in learning how you get out there so much. But what are different ways to use live streaming for your business? Now many of you probably have a smartphone. Now if you still have a stupid phone, you can grab a friend and grab their smartphone as well. You can go on live streaming on almost every social media network. You can go on Facebook, you can go on Instagram, you can go on Snapchat, you can go on Periscope, which is for Twitter. So all you have to do, instead of pressing post, you press the live stream button. And every single social media network, they also break it down. Snapchat has stories. Facebook now has stories, right? So it's that easy to use any platform to go on live streaming. Different ways to use live streaming for your business. One is that you can just go on live at any time, just like this, and you can tell people what you're doing. So when you do things of this nature, the people who are watching right now, they can just say, hey, he's going on live, I'm gonna watch and tune in right now. Now also it depends on the time of the day, right? If you go on live streaming at 3 a.m. in the morning, who in your network is going to watch? Play around with the times of the day because I know uh, a few restaurant owners, here's what they say, they always go on live streaming at the peak hours during lunch and during dinner. You know why? Because during the peak hours, they would say, hey, it's, there's a lot of people here. They want to show their restaurants, right? At the same time, they can also interview people and show how the insides of it, right? Behind the scenes. One way is just for you to go on and show people your face. If you're a business, right? If you're a restaurant, if you're a manager, here's what's going on. You can even interview. Live streaming is so crucial because it's what's happening right now. A second way to use live streaming is to go behind the scenes, right? So right now, we are taping. You are watching me right now, but you cannot see the camera. But if you are on a live stream, you can, I can say, hey, let's go around and let's see the room, right? Because let's say you're going to, you're interested in a dance performance or an artist or things of that nature. Wouldn't it be cool to see the backstage of that dance performance, what they do before they warm up, how they warm up, how you can see all the dancers go around and be crazy and doing all these different things. You can get the behind the scenes, but again, why are you using live stream? Because it's to grow your tribe, to grow your community because you want to give them insights into doing these things. A different way of live streaming, okay? One, you can go on is, you know, you can talk about what's on your mind. Second, you can go on and say, hey, here's the behind the scenes. A third way of doing it is you want to be able to teach a lesson. Of course, you can randomly go on live stream, but nowadays you can go on live stream and teach a webinar live. You can host it weekly, live. For example, you're watching Business Town right now. Right now it's still not live. But what happens when they bring it live? You can watch a live video session and you can engage with me. You can ask me questions and I can answer back just like that. So if you have it on a consistent basis, how is that gonna help you as a business, right? People will say, hey, that's the next topic. Maybe I wanna learn about how to sell my services. Go on, next Monday, we're gonna teach you. You might even bring an expert in to engage with you, right? So instead of going to a workshop, people now, are too, they might be too lazy, they wanna go jump on online to ask questions because it's the same exact thing, right? So we have these three different ways. Of course, you can go on Google, you can go on YouTube all day long and look up all these different ways. I would suggest that too, but pick the way that you like first, try them out, and if you have been doing this for a while already, see which ones work for you, right? And you wanna vary it up. Sometimes if you just go on to random, people will say, hey, I will never know when you go on. Sometimes people like that, spawn, you know, they want, they want you to be spontaneous because if you always have a set event, they know that you'll go, but sometimes they just like that human aspect of it, right? And here's the thing, you cannot scale human relationships. Even if you go on live with me, I want to say, hey, welcome, right? I'm still interacting with you. Welcome and then say your name. Welcome and then say your name. Because once you know it's fake, 
right now, if you're watching this video, you know I cannot address you. That's the power in live streaming and going on live. It's like a workshop. You're with me at the same time. If you're looking to, to make your live streaming that much better and give it a different variety, okay, just a little, you can get this for free nowadays too. You can go to some events. People will give this away, a selfie stick. It's under 10 bucks. There are some high-tech ones too on Amazon. You can just find a selfie stick really quickly, right? Here's what the power comes from when you use a live, when you use a selfie stick. You can show them the whole room. You can show them a whole different view of things. And here's the power. When you do this and you can walk around with it and do different angles, that's when the power comes in because you can give them a different view. Here's the other thing. I'm gonna show you one of these little kits. You can buy one of these kits, for example, if you wanna, it comes with a, with a little stand, right? It comes with a little stand and also comes with a microphone. So you can just go on Amazon nowadays and type in iPhone kit. And you can have all of these different things. So the cool thing about this is, say, it's so good, I wanna show you guys what it is right now, right? So. They also have some things called lenses for your smartphone. This is, for example, a wide angle lens. You can use this for photos, you can use this for live streaming. You can just clip it on, right? And what this does is a wide angle lens and makes the room even bigger. So you can have all of these different things. You can put a little mic into it and you can say, hey, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go on live streaming. So these are some equipments that you can use for live streaming, but I also want to talk about platforms. That's what I, I, I think of that as equipment as well. So if you don't want to use your iPhone, right, you can use, for example, you have your computer. Platforms, for, I'm going to say, for example, there are so many webinar systems nowadays, right? Same thing as live streaming. Think of webinars as live streaming because it's the same thing. You can set the time where you want to go on live. So you have these different platforms that you can find online. I don't care if it's, um, just put in webinar platforms or live stream platforms on Google. You can have a webinar jam, you can have Zoom. Uh, I am using something called Cloudcast. You can set these times, and here's the thing about these systems, right? For example, I'm gonna give a shout out to Cloudcast just because I'm using that. When I go on Cloudcast, I can set a time we're gonna go on this week. And you can blast that off to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all in the same time. So you can go multi-stream, right? But I hook it up on my computer. I usually do an interview with someone else and it can blast on all of these social media uh, networks at the same time. Let's wrap it up and talk about live streaming. Why are you using live streaming? You know it's very easy. It's as easy as posting. You just have to click the live stream button. You can find all your equipment. You all have a smartphone, right? But why is it that you're using live stream. Use it because I would suggest to grow your community. As a business, that's one of the most important things to engage your audience, to grow your community, a back and forth Q&A. So when you go on live streaming, yes, it could be nerve wracking at first, but just try it. If you can take one action item away from today, and if you have never done any kind of live streaming, find a friend if you're nervous, go on live stream, Find a good title and say, hey, we're going to be talking about this today. If you have been doing it consistently on live streaming, figure out how can you build a better live stream experience for your audience so you can keep on growing that community. It's video work, video, video, video. That's where the content is going to in 2020 and moving forward in our lives. You have to be comfortable being in front of a camera, whether if it's not edited, whether if it's edited, you just have to be used to that. We talked about all the equipment that you can use. Go on Google, find out all the equipment. We talked about different strategies that you can use uh, to use live streaming, right? You can just go, go on randomly, tell people what's on your mind, give them behind the scenes, or you can send a, a weekly event. And again, Google, YouTube, there's all this content nowadays. Find out how can I use live streaming for my business? We're just scratching the surface today. And live streaming is so crucial because it will help you grow your community and grow your business. Thank you again for watching today. You can catch some of my live streaming. Uh, just go on bostonspeaks.com. Uh, if you wanna watch more amazing video and more educational video, or you can grow your thought leadership, uh, learn a little bit more, go to Business Town. You know how many videos that they have, right? Watch all of them, grow professionally and personally, 
Uh, I would just suggest, because I love Business Town, they have a bunch of good videos. I'm watching them all the time. Right now, I'm kind of in this live streaming mode right now. I'm just going off the cuff. That's what it is right now, right? You have to get used to that because it will help you just grow your business. Thank you once again for watching. My name is Kit, and I hope that we can stay in touch. Again, go to Business Town, watch all the business videos. Thank you.